Well, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newqbo.com. Newqbo.com, that's our website. I'm gonna show you our website. So here's our website. This is for QuickBooks Online, newqbo.com. And we also have a separate uh, uh, website for uh, desktop, QuickBooks desktop. It's newquickbooks.com. So you wanna check out uh, both websites. So in this video, I'm going to focus on how to insert the QuickBooks Pro Advisor badge to Gmail signature. All right. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels, youtube.com forward slash VP controller, youtube.com forward slash QuickBooks QBO. All right. I'm going to uh, go to QuickBooks Accountant. So I'm on QuickBooks Accountant. So there's a QuickBooks Accountant dashboard. On your practice, you'll see Pro Advisor, and it will take you to certification. And then you will see, if you are certified, you will see uh, badges in here. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to download this badge. Click that download badge. And uh, you have uh, one is for a website, web badge. Another one is basically to download uh, a PNG, JPEG, uh, EPS uh, format. So I prefer for PNG. So I'm going to start with the copy code, this copy code. Uh, and what I'm looking for is the uh, uh, into uh, uh, image file in here. So I'm going to copy to uh, my uh, notepad. So here's your notepad. It'll open like this. I already copied one in here. So it'll just paste it. And the one we're looking for is the image file from here here this happens to be PNG and right here so this is the one we're looking for so if you copy this and uh, paste it to your website you should see uh, email file for your certificate this is your badge in your badge in here okay so now I'm gonna go to uh, Gmail okay here's your Gmail and under settings in here settings uh, you just select settings, the, the gear in here, setting, all right, and you're looking for signature here. Move all the way cursor down here, and so here's your signature in here, all right. Let's say you want to place, uh, insert your uh, image right here, all right, insert image right here. Just click that one, insert image, okay, and uh, you want to paste your, your, your URL address in here. And if you are using Google Drive, you can just insert it from here. I'll show you that one a little bit later. So if you're interested, uh, web address, URL, all right. And all you have to do is paste and you may use URL here. This is from Intuit. See right here, you know, you can see it, right? Okay, so it's kind of big right here. And just click it once, just once, and then resize it to, let's say, you want a medium. Got it. And if you want to remove it, just click Remove. Remove, it's gone. Just remove it, it's gone, right? Okay, so I'm gonna insert it again. Insert image, URL address. Okay, select, and then resize it to medium. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. Make sure to save it, save. Okay, saved. Now if you compose your Gmail, you will see right here. Let's say you wanna send uh, this to someone, some of your, your client. All right, so it's a QuickBooks Online at Hotmail.com. Okay. Pro Advisor Baz. Okay. I'm just going to send this, and in a minute, I'll, I want to see how it will look on your uh, on the other end, your, your clients. Okay, I'm going to send this. Okay. So let's say you want to insert it from your uh, drive, uh, your Google Drive. Yeah, they, they give you five gigabytes space free. All right, if you want to use it. So here's a Google Drive, you know, right here, there's a Google Drive, and then select Drive in here, okay? Uh, and from your QuickBooks uh, account, and all you have to do is download in here. See, download, just click Download, all right? So now it's already downloaded to your computer. All right, send, so you open the uh, Drive, see, so just click it, the, here and drive it'll open something like this and we have a bunch of uh, uh, 
files already uh, downloaded in here. So my drive, drop down, upload files, and then from your uh, uh, computer drive where you downloaded, the select one right here, like this. It's upload is complete, it's right here, okay? And then all you have to do is just right click this one, just right click it, right click, and you will see get shareable link. Just click that one, okay, right here, and share sharing settings, and this is a copy link right here. This is the one you want. Just copy link and see it will work. Just open uh, uh, your browser and paste and go. It's right here. It works. Okay, so I want to use that one from my Google Drive. So back to same settings and move all the way down. And I want to insert right here and uh, your insert image from your Google Drive. Now, this is the one. See the Baz. Select, kind of big now, so we want to just click it once and resize it, medium. So now you have two in here, one from uh, uh, into uh, uh, website address, another one is from uh, your own uh, Google Drive link here. Okay, so make sure to save it. Now, that's it, so I'm gonna show you how uh, your customer will, your clients will see your Gmail, I mean, your email in here. I'm just gonna open, uh, this one is uh, Outlook Mail, okay? So I'm gonna show you how they will see it. So they will see it like this. Looks neat, see, right here. So how cool is that? So anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels, youtube.com or watch that VP controller youtube.com forward slash quickbooks QBO. Thank you. Bye.